G'day, it's Rob here again. We're in a previous video not long back. We looked at cheap ways of storing bits and pieces in your workshop and you know the sort of containers that I use to store stuff and we showed you all sorts of stuff from uh, you know fruit to containers to, uh, to these things which is basically an olive oil, well this is a red X tin, oil tin which is like uh, Marvel Mystery Oil in the US does the same thing. Just cut one side out and they make great great storage containers because you've got a handle on the end you can you know you can pull them in and out of your of your shelving and they hold a lot. They're really good. And you can cut the side out that like that or you can cut the the other side out like that so they can be deeper you know you can do whatever you want you can leave the knob on the, the cap on or take it off or that's probably a collectible item now <laughs> not anymore brother so anyway we covered those and I mentioned it mentioned at the time as these sort of containers are really only available in certain things like olive oil they come in olive oil olive oil tins like this and you can uh, do this to olive oil tins, you know, so don't throw it to olive oil tins. But a lot of the stuff like engine oil and all that, it comes in plastic now. And even those I mentioned at the time, the plastic containers are really still quite, quite usable. I mean, they use those containers for all sorts of stuff, like here's some surface spray that I use to keep the, the bugs at bay and millipedes. And that's basically you know, the same as a car engine oil container. Some of them have a slopey handle, which I don't really like. But if, when they make them everything parallel like this, that's good. So you can do the same thing. You can cut out the cut out the side, make a, make one of these, and then you've got a handle and pull it in and out. They're really good. They're a little bit too big, a bit bulky, I find. You know, they're wider, a bit wider than those, which are fairly big. But if you've got small stuff, I find these a bit, bit much, really, uh, not to be taken. Just having a drink of surface spray, dear, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. So, what am I coming to? Well, I had to go and buy some more of this stuff today, and I was down there, you know, and I'm checking the prices. And I was surprised to see that you can actually get it in a smaller container, for pretty much the same. Well, it's actually worked out cheaper. So I bought this. Now, I looked at that and I thought, wow, that has got to be the best size container to do this sort of conversion of any I've seen. I mean, that is absolutely perfect. It's the right shape. It's the right size. And all you got to do is just... Sl I mean, that is bloody brilliant, I reckon. So, yeah, my surface spray actually worked out slightly cheaper. 50 cents a litre cheaper and uh, this is the ideal container for putting nuts and bolts and things in so we'll cut the side out of it and we'll make a we'll make a little slidey container out of it yeah I reckon these are good perfect perfecto so then the question is what are you going to cut the side out with I mean you could use a knife but you've got to be careful because you can I mean, easily run off line with a knife and it could slip and you could do some sort of a nasty injury. I don't really like the idea of using a knife. I've never done one of these in plastic. I've always just used the tin snips. I mean, you could probably cut a hole and use tin snips as well. I'm not sure about that. The other thing is you could drill a hole and then use a jigsaw. Now, a jigsaw would work pretty good. That, that would do it. And then I thought, oh, I don't know about that, you know, the whole thing's going to flex a fair bit. And I went through my bits and pieces and I've got a little circular, little wood cutting circular saw blade that I mounted on an arbor. So I'm using it in my air die grinder and I thought, I reckon, put this on the Hilda. I reckon that would do a really neat job. Really neat job. Controllable, yet fairly clean. Now when you do this, I think the don't cut too close to the edge. By having that curled over edge gives you a bit more rigidity and it, it won't hurt. So I'd anticipate cutting it sort of around here, you know, this area. 
And I could mark, I think I'll mark it out with marker pen anyway, and just cut slightly outside of that. And yeah, we'll do that. So I'll mark it all up, and then we'll come back and we'll cut it and see how well it works out. Right, well I'll mark that with a sharpie and a steel ruler. And uh, as you can see, I brought it in a bit. I think that'd be good. So I'll cut just outside that line so we lose the blackness. I mean, that would wash off with petrol anyway, I suppose. But So I'll rig up the Hilda and we'll use the Hilda. Now these are going to be one of the best machines ever made. They're uh, absolutely brilliant, you know, because you can control what you're doing with them. So just a matter of swap over. I've got a friction disc on there. I mean, you could do it with a friction disc probably, but I think the saw blade will be the bee's knee. So I'll take that out and... We'll get on with it. Now we're cooking. Yeah, good to go. I might put some goggles on, this might spray around a bit. Is a bit with a side of a knife. And, you know, you don't have to be any super fancy on this, it's just got a hold some nuts and bolts. And Cool is that, eh? How cool is that? That is absolutely bloody perfect. So that's a two litre container. No killer. Turn into a great little container for nuts and bolts and whatever that you can just slide in and out. And uh, yeah. Better than going in the recycle bin, guys. So there you go. That's how I did it. And I think that's probably, well, that was dead easy. That was really simple, controllable. If you use a jigsaw, I think she's going to jump around a lot. And uh, a friction disc would probably do it, you know, but it might be, it'll melt it rather than cut it. That's the trouble. So, yeah, a little blade like that is what you want. So, how good is it? Let's try it out. These are the old ice cream containers that I use to store nuts and bolts in. These are good. Let's see how our new container fits. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. You can write on the end here what it is, you know, SAE, Whitworth, you know. You've got plenty of room. That's bloody brilliant. You just grab the handle. This is this old set of shelves I made up out of a wooden box and some floorboards. You know, that's old floorboards. You can see that's the, where they slot together. And it's good. Just put your bits and pieces in. There, so there you go guys, this is the, what you want, the two litre ones that look like this, they're bloody brilliant. <laughs> Good one Rob. Okay, that's it from me, see you next time, cheers.